Hello and welcome to this video where we're going to discuss the results of the community survey I put out a couple of weeks ago. Got a lot of good responses. I was hoping for at least 100 and as you can see we got 260. So let's go ahead and dive into these. Uh, we're not going to take too long to look at all of these. I just want to hit some major points but I will elaborate on a couple of things I thought were interesting. Um, first off, how long have you been subscribed? The vast majority of respondents to this survey have been subscribed for less than a year and that's why I worded it this way. Uh, greater than one year because one year ago uh, this channel had uh, as of the 5th of December 2,800 subscribers and 450,000 total views that's the 5th of December 2022 uh, as of today which is the 7th of December of 2023 9,350 subs and 1.9 million views so it's, it's absolutely not surprising that only 10.8 percent of you said you've been subscribed longer than a year uh, but what was even more surprising is the amount of you that said less than three months between one and three months and then less than one month that that is a substantial portion like over a third of you which is just amazing growth I'm very very thankful for that uh time zones uh again no real surprises here uh 20 percent of you are in my time zone which is UTC minus five or US Eastern time uh some of you in minus six which would be the next one over central time of the US I don't know if Canada calls it central time too and then uh, seven, why is this flashing so much? 17.3% in UTC plus one, which I believe is central European time. So not really surprised there. The, the, the majority of you guys are within a couple of hours, either side of me. And then there's some of you in Europe about six hours ahead, which is what I already thought, but it's good to have that information. Uh, age stuff also completely mirrors the analytics I have from YouTube. Uh, kind of surprising though, to see that just about half of you are under the age of 35. It's like pretty much completely split down the middle when you count the uh, three of you who are 13 to 17 years old. It's pretty much exactly half split. I thought that was kind of cool. Uh, I, I am in this age group, if you were not aware. So that, that's cool to see that people my age, and especially people older, think it's neat. All right, so let's move on to the next section, which was about content that you, the viewer, watches. I thought it was nuts that almost half of you watch at least five videos a week. I post seven videos a week currently. That is bonkers to me that that many of you are watching that many videos. But I guess it does make sense since the people that are going to take a community survey are probably going to be the people that are more engaged anyway. Uh, and I, I figured there are probably a pretty big number of people that maybe only watched a couple of videos, but for 41.2% of you to say at least two or three times a week, that's really encouraging. I really appreciate that. Uh, that is uh, two or three times a week. Could just be people that are watching a single one of the three series we have going on, or they could just uh, pick and choose individual non-contiguous episodes, I guess you could say. So amazing support. Really appreciate it. Uh, those of you watching almost never or seldom or about once a week, I appreciate you too. That is completely fine. You might be a little bit lost with the series we have going on, but uh, we'll, we'll get a little bit more into the, some of that stuff later. Uh, next question. Live streams. Yeah, not really surprised here. 57.7% of you say you never watch the live streams. Um, I, I know how many people watch them while they're airing. I already knew it was not a super popular thing, but the people that show up really seem to enjoy them and I enjoy them as well. Just uh, would be interested to know. I probably should have asked why people don't watch live streams, but that's fine. You can spend your time however you choose. and I'm grateful for any amount of that you choose to spend with me. But the, uh, the 11 of you that hit this one. I watch every stream as many as I can. I think I know exactly who you are because you're there every single time. But yeah, appreciate the support there. What games do you watch on the channel? No surprise here. Almost all of you, save for five, said you watch the Timberborn videos. Uh, but I did not think City Skylines 2 is going to be the second most popular option considering we've only had a handful of live streams on that one. And I've done, for Ostrov, oh, hundreds of videos. Pro well, not, not as many as Timberborn at this point, probably about, uh, maybe, I don't know, maybe 150, 200 videos for Ostrov. So it's the only 54 of you respond that is like, all right, well, what's up with that? But it, it's also been what, nine months since the last major update to the game. So you know, makes sense. Um, Dawn of Man, 11 of you marked Dawn of Man. I have not done that one in, oh, it's been at least a year and a half. I don't remember exactly. That was kind of a fun series. Might go back to that one at some point in the future. Uh, maybe as a live stream or something. Um, but yeah, very, very interesting responses here. 
other YouTube creators. I left this as an open response question and boy, did you guys give me a bunch of options, uh, but uh, no surprise here. The most popular one, real civil engineer, second Skystorm, whose name disappeared from this side on the left, but we can mouse over there and see that 151 of you said him. Uh, next up, City Planner Plays, and then Beffa, then Kibitz. That's your uh, your top five right here. And then a bunch of you, a bunch of you put in Catherine of Sky, but in a bunch of different spellings. And uh, so they're not aggregated, but she's pretty popular. I understand that. Um, and then some of you, uh, some of you stacked multiple people in the same things. And again, some of the names just kind of disappeared because I guess Google forms are like that. Uh, let's game it out. I love his videos. Absolutely chaotic. Corrales, uh, I think is actually might've been how I found Ostrov the very, uh, the very first time. So I was watching his Minecraft content at that point in time. I'm pretty sure. But yeah, lots of, lots of good people in here. Uh, it's good to see a pretty good diversity of games and uh, personalities represented here. So thanks for sharing with those. And then next, what other city builder games do you watch on YouTube? I don't know why so many of you put City Skylines and City Skylines 2 in here when those were options um, up on this question, but you know, I appreciate it anyway. That, that's a okay. Um, some other stuff in here we might get into. I've been thinking about doing Frostpunk for a while. Um, Roller Coaster Tycoon, uh, I'm already planning on doing some videos on. Uh, Transport Fever 2, again, we've already discussed in some of the live streams, maybe, so I wouldn't be surprised if you didn't know, but I am planning on doing that at some point. Uh, let's see, Oxygen Not Included, I think, is going to kick my butt if I do it, but that has been requested several times. Uh, Anno 1800 played, people hated the videos, probably not going to do any more of those. Uh, Planet Zoo, <laughs> the only thing I know about Planet Zoo, I think, is when Let's Game It Out played, but that looked like it could be kind of fun. Uh, Banished, I wanted to take a look at, because that was kind of a... I think it was one of the inspirations for Ostra, where it's like spiritually, like in the same idea. Uh, let's see, yeah, there's Oxygen not included again. Uh, Anno again, sorry, not going to do it again, sorry. Uh, for, for videos, maybe live streams. Um, other things, Factorio, I, I don't really like the idea of the, the base being destructible by those bugs or whatever. I don't think I'm going to probably play that one. Dyson Sphere Program, if you think I'm bad at math now, oh boy, you got something else coming if <laughs> we ever get into that. Civ 6, I own Civ 6. I have not played it. I played a bunch of Civ 5, and that was fun, but I don't I don't really think that's a good game for me to do videos on. Maybe, maybe at some point as a live stream. Uh, Workers and Resources Soviet Republic has been suggested so many times. At some point, I would like to play it. I don't know when I'm going to have time to, but that is also one that's on the list. Captain of Industry, I've seen that one suggested a couple times. Um, Cities 1 and 2, okay, yep, already knew about that one. Um... Let's see, Planet Coaster. I don't think I've ever played that. I, I was really big into Roller Coaster Tycoon when I was a kid. That'd be fun. Uh, let's see, other things in here. Again, here's Oxygen not included. Uh, Rimworld has appeared a couple times. Don't know if I'm going to get into that one. Uh, I also, I didn't word this question as which ones would you like to see me play. This is This is just for me to understand what you guys like to watch. So if I'm thinking about playing something, then if I, I know you guys are already interested in watching it, then that makes a little bit more sense for me to try and do videos on it because then people are going to be invested. Uh, let's see, Stardew Valley. I love Stardew Valley. That was so much fun. Uh, I think the last time I played it, several years ago, I think it was before the uh, coronavirus. Uh, Going Medieval, heard that one was good. Against the Storm. Yes, I have received... Uh, so many requests from the developers of Against the Storm to take a look at their game, and I just have not had the time, and I feel so bad about it. Uh, I would like to do videos on it. I, it it's going to take me some time to learn how to play the game, so I'm not just pulling it out of my butt and making bad content. But that is something I do want to get into. The game, actually, as of today, I think is in full release, if the uh, information I have is accurate, or if I'm remembering it accurately, I should say. So would really love to check that out. Uh, Minecraft, oh my god, I played so much Minecraft you do not even understand. It is, I don't know, tens of thousands of hours of Minecraft. I played way too much of that. I think, I think I'm probably done forever with Minecraft, but very fun game. And then, uh, again, City Skylines 1 and 2. So it's good to see you guys have a lot of different uh, ideas about different games that you like watching. And I do want to get to a lot of these at some point, but again, it takes time and I don't always have enough to uh, do everything I want to do, unfortunately. Other non-gaming content do you enjoy watching on YouTube? 
the overwhelming majority of you picked the documentary stuff and hobby content, which is cool. That's what I like to watch as well. But some of the stuff you guys put on here has just been a blast from the past. Uh, Rhett and Link, I said this in the, uh, the Beard Booster video. I've been watching those guys since, I don't know what, 2005, 2006, whenever they first started posting on YouTube. Uh, let's see. Uh, where is it? Oh, yeah. Steve Wallace Stealth Camping. I love those videos. Absolutely just fascinating to watch. Uh, him, uh, I didn't see post 10 on here, but I know we've talked about post 10. This one also just didn't have anything on there. Someone just entered a blank response, which, all right, cool. Uh, but the, um, oh man, I just, I love, I love the, what, what's the right word? Slice of life type stuff where people just take you along while they're doing their jobs or it's like, Hey, we're going to do this project today or whatever. I just, it's really enjoyable to do, to connect with people like that. So I'm very, very glad to see so many of you put, put stuff like that in there. Uh, car stuff, music stuff. Uh, let's see. ASMR. I, yeah, okay. I don't think I'm going to be doing any of that. Uh, <laughs> moving on, uh, channel opinions. Uh, the person who responded, uh, you enjoy it one out of five, uh, let me know like what you really don't like, because I, I can't fix it unless you tell me. I, I really want to make sure that people are enjoying stuff. But uh, literally everybody else said either neutral, positive, or extremely positive uh, sentiment. So appreciate that. Uh, it's good to know that what's what's being done is working. So we don't have to spend too much time on that. Preferred video length. I've pulled this a couple times in the past. Uh, overwhelming majority of you guys like the current length or somewhere around there, um, trending, I guess, slightly toward the longer videos. I, it, I can't upload videos that are longer than 90 minutes every single day. I would probably die. Um, but I think it's, it's probably safe to assume most of the videos that I put out going forward, at least in the current format are going to be about an hour still, maybe slightly shorter would be my preference. So good responses here. Uh, people under 30 minutes, the five of you, um, uh, I would have to do a lot of editing to do those. And then I'd be able to put out only a couple of videos a week if I had to edit them that much. So don't think that's what we're going to be going into, but it's good to know that that's something you enjoy if that ever comes up in the future. And then here we go. The, another one of the, uh, the victims of free responses here. Uh, do you like the unedited continuous style of videos? 63% of you said yes, but you wouldn't mind some small edits, which sometimes is what I already do. So that's fine. 28.5% says yes, don't change. Cool. Wasn't really planning on it, but did want to solicit information anyway. Um, and then five of you said they're too long winded and you want more edited style. Well, I appreciate that feedback. I don't think I'm ever going to have hev heavily edited videos of gameplay at least. So, uh, don't, don't get your hopes up for that. But a lot of your responses here in the, the free response section are basically the same thing as what I was asking in, uh, this response. So, uh, I, I did, I have taken the time to read every single response individually and take a look at all of these. So I'm, I'm not glossing over it. I just don't want to spend two hours recording a video because you guys don't want to watch that anyway. But yeah, most of it's like, yeah, I, I like it. Time lapse is okay. This, that, and the other, uh, different opinions about how other people make videos, which isn't really what I was asking, but it's good to have that in, uh, information anyway. So moving on balance of games featured on the channel. I did want to take a second to talk about this because my intention was never to have Timberborn be the only thing that gets played. It's just, it just ended up happening because they got all these different updates come out and then there's different mods that come out and someone says, Hey, you should do a series on the water beavers. And that one's been just an absolute roller coaster <laughs> of insanity, but I, I never wanted it to just be Timberborn. So I shouldn't be upset that 33.8% of you said the only thing you care about is the beavers. I understand because that's more or less the only thing I post but I really, really want to avoid being, I guess, typecast as a just one specific game playing person because there's so much more out there. And if I just played Timberborn until the day I died, well, I'm pretty sure that would not last very long. Get really burnt out really fast. 56.5% uh, 50, of you said things are fine as they are. Cool. But at the same time, that's also pretty much just agreeing with uh, the only thing I care about is Timberborn because that's pretty much the only thing I put up. Um, the 9.6% of you who said too many beavers want to see other things. Thank you. Now, I was hoping more people would pick that, but uh, I guess we'll see what happens. I Obviously, I like Timberborn. I play a lot of it, but I don't want to get shoehorned into that specific part 
of the internet where you just only do one thing until you die or your channel explodes or you quit because that's obviously not very fun. Beard booster section. Obviously, 75% of you haven't been. Uh, I don't need to go into these specific results. That was just for the beard boosters, so we will skip past that. Beard boosters, if you have not watched the beard booster only section uh, video, please uh, go do that. That is available for you guys uh, only on the channel. All right, so next section is about the future of the channel and other endeavors. Uh, I've tried to do this at least two or three times over the past year, uh, making story-based gameplay videos. First, it was City Skylines 1, but 68.5% of you say you would be interested in watching story-based gameplay videos on City Skylines 2, and that's cool because I would like to do that once the game is a little bit more stable and has mod support, so maybe sometime early next year. I'd like to get into that. Not going to be anything nearly as in-depth or meticulously planned as what City Planner Place does or anything, but just using different things in-game, different types of, uh, I guess, urban planning type things to build narratives around in the game, using the game as a, a vehicle for explaining how that works, I think would be a cool thing which also kind of uh, works its way into this next question where 64.6% .6 of you said you would be interested in videos discussing various topics uh, about city builder games or things that they deal with like urbanism, transit, uh, history, architecture, things like that. Would love to incorporate a bunch of that stuff into those videos. So it's good to see you guys want to see that as well. And now YouTube Shorts, hotly contested issue. A lot of you really hate YouTube Shorts. So I was surprised that only 59.6% of you said no to the uh, question about highlight clips going on there. So probably not going to do those, but I did want to ask because some people have said, hey, please do this. I would be very interested in that. But if the majority of you guys really don't want it, then probably not worth my time, honestly. But the other question consisting of YouTube shorts uh, with hints and tips for games, 60% of you said yes. So, hey, maybe at some point that's something I would get into. Uh, I'm not going to stop what I'm doing to do it, obviously, but if that's something people are open to, then that's fine. And here's something else I was thinking about for a little while, making a second channel for either different games or different types of content. Uh, so 72.7% .7 of you said you would possibly watch a separate channel focusing on documentary style content, depending on the subject matter. 14.6% of you said yes, 127 said no. I'm going to treat that 72.7% .7 as kind of half and half yes or no, just because, well, I didn't tell you what the possible content would be, so I can't expect you to know. So I guess we haven't really learned anything from this question, but it is nice to know that uh, some of you would be interested uh, watching depending on uh, what it is. And then the other one, uh, second channel, hobby, vlog, kind of whatever content, it, not really something that most of you would be interested in based off of this. I might do it in the future. I might not, but uh, just wanted to have your input on that. And here's this other one, merchandise. That's come up a couple times. 72% of you say, nope, not happening. So we're not going to do it. Uh, not right now. But uh, I, I did think I would ask because people have said, hey, uh, are you ever going to make this or that? Or would you ever think about doing X, Y, Z? And the answer, in, until there's a significant enough base of people to purchase these things, it just does not make financial sense. It, it is so expensive to do uh, runs of custom merchandise if you don't already have buyers for them. So the amount of people that responded yes for specific things is just not nearly enough to make it even possible for me to look into doing. But that doesn't mean we can't do it in the future. I just figured I would ask because... You know, you might as well know before you invest a bunch of time and effort and energy into making something that might be really cool, but, you know, only a handful or a couple dozen people might buy because that's just the reality of life. Things are expensive, and a lot of you guys left feedback that, hey, uh, like, this is cool. I, I'm interested in watching your videos, but I don't have a lot of money. I, I don't I don't think I could afford to buy something. I don't think I could afford to be a member or whatever, and I, I don't want that to be a thing that people feel bad about because at the end of the day, this is entertainment. It is not supposed to be me milking you dry for money. I, I don't ever want it to be that. I just thought, hey, if we had some cool thing that maybe a bunch of people would be interested in buying, we could make it and have a good time. I wouldn't jack the price up real high because I don't believe in that. But 71.9% of you said no, so we're, good to, we're just going to move on, maybe revisit this next year or sometime. Sponsored videos. Please note... 
that currently I am not doing sponsored content and I do not have plans to do so. This is just for future reference. This is not me warning you, hey, we're going to have ads for garbage nobody wants. I don't, don't want to do that. So uh, not surprised by the responses here. We, we've talked about this in live stream chats and other things before, and the sentiment has been more or less the same. But the 51.5% of you who said you're okay with sponsored videos on the basis of them being a way for me to get money uh, and you, you just wouldn't mind it, but you don't necessarily like them. I guess that's encouraging. That's good. That's good to hear. Um, I'm not going to assault you with advertisements for garbage because I don't believe that's a good thing to do. I hate, I hate it when that happens to me. I wouldn't want to do it to you. So the, uh, the smallest section, uh, 13 of you said you don't want to see baked in sponsor spots for anything for any reason. I mean, I don't either. I'm not going to do them. So I'm, I'm glad I'm glad that people think this way. I was just surprised that that was the smallest one. 8.8% um, of you say you like the sponsored videos and you welcome creative integrations. Cool. I If I ever end up doing sponsorships for things that aren't garbage, then I would like to do it in a creative way or at least a tolerable way. Now, the uh, other thoughts for your response. This was basically just an open form for you to put whatever you wanted to put in there. Uh, suggestions, comments, feedback, or whatever. So I'm not going to go through and read all of these, but uh, I will do some general trends, pick out a couple as we scroll down. Uh, a lot of you think that you, it would be nice to have some more variety, uh, smaller series to break up the monotony of all the Timberborn videos all the time. And I agree, that's something that I've wanted to do. We've just been so caught up with the Timberborn stuff. Uh, and then as soon as one series ends, a new update comes out. Like, okay, we got a new, we got to do a new series. And then, oh, we did a series on this faction, so we have to do this faction. And, hey, you should play the Water Beaver mod. And then we played that, and then that's turned into a whole thing like we've talked about before. So uh, I, I did read every single response. I've read everything everyone has submitted to the survey. Just because I didn't read it on the video doesn't mean I didn't see it. I just cannot put out a 45-minute video or an hour video on a survey response. Like, nobody's going to care enough to watch that. So... Other things, um, there's just a lot of <laughs> a, a lot of really cool, interesting responses here. And again, we're not going to read through all of these, uh, but uh, lots of people just saying thank you. I really appreciate it. Just because I haven't specifically acknowledged specific comments does not mean I have not read and have not appreciated them. We just need to, you know, not read everything on the video. Uh, do be careful of the talks that become political on live streams. Yeah, that is very, very hard to corral once that cat gets out of the bag. And I, I do try to kind of moderate it a little bit, but so, some things, especially with regard to uh, city builder stuff, the, the politics is inherent to the genre and the practice of things like urbanism and transit policy and everything is it's completely unavoidable. But my hope is that when those topics come up, people are going to have uh, rational discussions. And even if people disagree, it doesn't devolve into name calling or just people being stupid. I, 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 I hate that stuff. I enjoy discussing topics with people who have rational opinions, viewpoints, uh, offer discourse that is not based on tearing people down, but is instead based on how can we solve problems. That being said, we're not going to get political as much as I can help it. Uh, just basic ideas and not overarching uh, this versus that or political ideology. No, no, we're, we're not, we're not going to do that. All right. And then uh, this, this next one, I don't even have to scroll. Uh, don't get frustrated so easily. Anytime I find a crane and hope they're not, they well, okay. I'm not going to read that one out loud, but you can read on the screen. Um, I understand it's easy to miss something, especially recording a video, maybe take a step back or hold back when you've been proven impatient and missing stuff many times before. Yeah, it, but that's also one of the things that just kind of happens when you do unedited stuff. Like if I make a mistake and I'm someone who does not edit the videos, then you get to see that process in real time and maybe understand what led me to do that. And maybe that helps you learn how not to make that same mistake. If, if I just edited out mistakes, then that doesn't solve anything because that just makes it seem like, oh, I know everything. I know what I'm doing. I don't, obviously, <laughs> if you watch the videos. Uh, it, I like the authenticity of playing the game organically, learning as I go, and demonstrating how different thought processes can work so that people can understand uh, just the way that people might come across something in a game. And what's been really cool with the Water Beaver faction is the guy that made the mod watches the videos and offers his feedback 
And sometimes it's, oh, well, I didn't think people would do this this way. Well, thanks for pointing that out. And they, that's cool. It's a mutual exchange of ideas between me and you guys in the comments section, which is always fun. And that's why I always say it's a let's play, not a watch me play. Sometimes the organic process is going to result in dumb mistakes and frustration that I'm a human being. I'm not a robot. I'm a guy who makes videos on, on video games that I, uh, that I play for fun and I get to share the experience with you. So authenticity, I don't think is ever a bad thing. That being said, I do understand that uh, sometimes it gets annoying to hear complaining all the time and that sometimes that's just how it goes. And then the last part of this, be careful to take care of yourself and not fall down the same hole, getting more and more frustrated to the point of breaking down, take care of yourself. Yes, absolutely. And that that is not just a video game thing. That is a real life thing. Uh, it's very important to take time to acknowledge uh, things that are difficult or frustrating and think about ways to solve those problems. That's I'm going to be fine. You don't have to worry about me. We're, we're making videos on the internet. We're having a fun time playing games. This person says, change stuff up if you want to. The opportunity to provide feedback is welcome. Keep getting community feedback, but don't let that determine what you do. Garnering a new audience entails growth and change, and there will always be a vocal minority. Use the stats at your disposal. Views and engagement are what matters. Okay, I appreciate that. Uh, I, at the same time, I'm going to maybe push back a little bit on the whole views and engagement or what matters. Uh, from a human perspective, I mean, from a business perspective, then, okay, yeah, well, I probably should focus on doing the thing that's going to make me the most money, get the most views. But the community feedback is very important to me because I want to make sure that the people who are spending their time to watch the videos and engage and have the dialogue about the game or whatever else are enjoying what they're seeing and not uh, not feeling like a number, which is what the views and engagement statistics are. That's just a number. If I say, oh, I put out this video and it gets X number of views. Okay, cool. Statistics are a helpful tool to help you understand general trends. Statistics also are not the entire story. They're just a measurement. So I, I would rather personally focus on are people enjoying this versus how many people are watching it. So you can make terrible videos and get a bunch of views because people clicked on it because you made clickbait titles or put something in the thumbnail that someone wanted to see in the video and they clicked and it's not there. So again, statistics are not the end goal. The end goal is to make stuff that people enjoy and to have a good time doing it. So I, I feel like if those goals are accomplished, then the numbers are going to follow. Uh, I don't, I don't feel like it should be the other way around. So, um, I appreciate that uh, opportunity to have the uh, the discussion on this. I, I just wanted to acknowledge that this is the, the goal of this survey is not to min max my efforts making YouTube videos. The, the goal is to understand what you guys are thinking and to solve uh, any problems or things that have come up that people want to see addressed. All right. And this person says for sponsored videos, don't mind sponsorships, but I'm not a big fan of sponsorships of things like VPNs where the product is not related to the content. Yes. Yes, I cannot stand when I'm watching a video about some random thing and then there's the same three or four or five ads for the same companies I've been having blasted into my brain for the last five years on the YouTube. I'm not going to do that. Don't worry. <laughs> and I, like I said earlier, I'm not planning on doing a bunch of sponsored stuff or whatever. It's just I would like to know people's opinions on it so that when opportunities arise, I can use that information to make an informed decision on whether or not that's something that's going to work. And then later on, they say, in regards to what other content they would be interested in, keep in mind a different channel can have a different demographic and not having a lot of cross interest from this one doesn't mean the channel won't work well. And yeah, that is something I wanted to bring up as well and did not earlier uh, because obviously people are going to have specific interests. There is not always going to be the crossover like you were saying. And that's not something that would necessarily preclude me from doing a second or third channel or whatever. Uh, but since this is currently the only thing I have and I'm going to, I'm going to start doing other things at some point, eventually I would have to start doing those things by presenting them to the people who watch these videos. So having an idea of how many of uh, those people would be interested in those other things is still useful. Uh, glad you care enough to make a survey like this. Keep up the good work. I appreciate it. Again, like I've said, feedback is very important to me and I'm very interested in knowing what people think about stuff beyond just uh, the very public act of making a comment on a video to say, oh, I really like this. Anonymous feedback 
is, in my opinion, one of the easiest ways for someone to express their actual thoughts about something. If it's not going to be tied to their name, if it's not going to be tied to uh, who they are or what they do, hopefully that gives them an opportunity to feel like they're not going to be judged for saying something or they're not going to be retaliated together. Like, okay, it's not that serious. This is feedback for a YouTube channel, but the, the point still stands. If you remove barriers to uh, people's inhibitions for saying certain things, then they're going to be a little bit more authentic in their response. And that's what I wanted. This person says, my only suggestion is maybe doing smaller series while trying out other city builder colony developing games for variety. Yes, that is what I originally wanted to do. We just got sucked into the beaver trap because, because of course we did. Uh, we, we, we just have so much stuff going on in uh, Timberborn right now, but I have a lot of games I've wanted to get to. I've got a bunch of emails in my inbox from uh, developers saying, hey, please check out my game. And it just, it hurts me that I can't get to all of them, but I, I would like to at some point. This person you're welcome. I hate them too. So I'm, I'm not going to do them in this one. And then this person says, I hope you receive ample response with regard to the survey and you're comfortable with the results there. And yeah, I always welcome honest feedback. Uh, my only thoughts pertain mostly to the outcome of the research as some tend to push themselves in a direction they're not comfortable with once finding out what people like for the sake of generating more views. Yep. Uh, that's not what the goal of the survey was. I, I appreciate you bringing that up and that is a very good thing to discuss. Um, but yeah, I, don't worry, I'm not going to turn into making clickbait or garbage. They go on to say, however, for me personally, I can tell when people lose themselves along the way and they become less desirable to watch. Yep, uh, that is something I would very much like to avoid. Uh, again, feedback is just an opportunity for people to reach out and let me know what they're thinking. I'm not I'm not using this to try to min-max the YouTube experience. But yes, uh, very, very good feedback. Appreciate it. What is the land speed velocity of an unladen beaver? Um, I have one question for you. Folktale or Iron Teeth? I really like your channel and watch it with my kids sometimes. Thank you. I appreciate that. And that is one of the reasons why I don't put a lot of, uh, shall we say, inappropriate humor in the videos, because a lot of you have children and you want to watch stuff with your kids or you want to watch stuff when your kids are around and you don't want that to become something that you can't do. So in the videos, no promises on the live streams or whatever, but in the videos, I do try to keep it more or less family friendly. This person asks, how do you feel about the balance of games featured on the channel as it stands now? I'm so glad you asked. And I, we kind of talked about it when I got to the, uh, the question that I asked you guys about it, but, um, I, I never wanted it to all be Timberborn as much as I do love Timberborn and I really enjoy playing the game and the videos have done really well. And you guys like them as well. I just, I never wanted it to be all beavers all the time. And it's kind of turned into that. And we're going to, we're going to do some different stuff in the new year. So I hope people don't get too upset about it, but I always wanted to do a bunch of different city builder type games, maybe focus on mostly doing two or three of them alternating back and forth. But yeah, we're, we're going to, we're going to be trying some new stuff. So hopefully you guys enjoy and you'll stick with, stick with me through that. If you don't mind, I'd like if you upload the saves of your finished series and let the viewer download them and you can make series, uh, who can improve my building style. That would be cool. Uh, there's a lot of different uh, people who have done stuff like that. I think a good example of this kind of thing uh, that you're talking about the second half of your comment with the uh, Timberborn City Skyline build review, um, if, if you're familiar with the Biffa Plays Indie Games and the traffic fixes, I really, really liked watching those videos because it gives you a good perspective on how different people play the game and a lot of the common mistakes. Uh, I'm not good at traffic fixing, um, which is why I have not done any of those kind of videos. And if you watched my city skyline streams, uh, especially the first game, you're going to understand that I am bad at preventing traffic. So definitely don't want to be solving those, but I, I would be really interested in doing a series uh, where people submit uh, Timberborn or whatever save files. So we can take a look at what other people have made and uh, check stuff out. So I would like to do something like that. Uh, maybe sometime early next year. Uh, I will let you guys know if I figure out a good method to accomplish that, but definitely, definitely, definitely want to do something like that. Yeah. Lots of uh, positive comments here. Really appreciate those and appreciate the, uh, sentiment and the encouragement on the different style of videos being a positive and, uh, people not wanting me to change, to copy others. Uh, I'm not trying to do that, but I appreciate that you enjoy what I'm currently doing.
bigger projects than Timberborn. Yep, we're trying to do that right now with the uh, Iron Teeth Mega Build series. So that one should be a whole lot of fun. Looking forward to see what we can do with that. This person says, the first time I see a NordVPN, Raid Shadow Legends, Ridge Wallet, or G Fuel slash GamerSubs ad on this channel, I will unsub and not think a second twice. If I ever put an ad for any of those on there, you have my permission to shoot me. I, no, not happening. <laughs> I, I, no, we're, we're just, I'm not going to put that kind of garbage on here. If you're going to make sponsored content, beg and plead that you look into companies sponsoring you like BetterHelp is questionable. Yes, um, I... That's one of the reasons I really don't want to do sponsored content is because a lot of these companies that do the advertising on YouTube are questionable. And if they're not questionable, then they're at very least not necessarily selling a good product or they're selling something that's unnecessary or they just have kind of a, a mediocre product and they just use a bunch of saturation marketing to just completely flood the internet with garbage. It's like, I, I don't want to be a part of that, so... Don't worry, not going to happen. And here's someone with a uh, comment about the membership stuff, which is not something we've discussed since that was part of the Beard Booster segment, but we'll go ahead and talk about it now. Uh, they say, I would like to see multiple membership price points for identical membership benefits so everyone can decide how much support makes sense for them. Um, my answer to that is going to be, uh, if you want to uh, contribute more than the current cost of a YouTube membership, uh, I would say get a YouTube membership and then you can go over to a Patreon and then just pledge custom for that. Uh, I do want to have at some point different membership tiers on YouTube. Uh, that is the easiest integration for that kind of thing because Patreon has terrible support for videos and linking between different things. But uh, at some point I might rework the membership, maybe put a couple different tiers in or some other options for things. But I, I don't want it to seem like something that is me just attempting to do a cash grab because that's really dishonest behavior and I don't want to, I don't want to do that. I just, it is just supposed to be something where if somebody wants to offer support or whatever, then they have the ability to do so and get something out of it. But uh, we, we might end up looking into some other options sometime in the next year. This person says, I like your relatable, authentic play style. You're not afraid of showing your mistakes in the video, and I learned a lot to play Timberborn better myself. Yes, that's the goal. That is the idea behind why I do that, is to show the authentic uh, experience of playing the game and making mistakes in real time and figuring out solutions. I think that's very helpful. And it's uh, an honest way of doing things, which I appreciate. Do you really have a beard? Yes, I do. Where do the beavers go? I uh, post a video about the beaver game almost every single day. So uh, I, I'm not sure where you think the beavers have gone. This person says, I understand if in order to make your time more profitable, you need to start adding sponsors to your videos, but I'm worried it could interrupt the flow and the collab feeling you give in the Let's Play series the let's plays what drew me into your channel. Yes. Um, and that's one of the reasons why I didn't really want to do any of the sponsored videos in that kind of a format because it, it, it breaks the immersion. Like you're saying, and then they go on to ask, I'm curious about how your story driven city skylines Two play would work. I've got a couple ideas. Uh, I'm not entirely sure exactly how it's going to go, but I think we can accomplish uh, some little inserts of story details without completely breaking the whole let's play vibe, but we'll see what happens. I also got a beard. Congratulations. Thanks for making your videos. They help me sleep, but I really do watch them for the content. Sometimes I have rewatched videos four or five times to actually watch the whole video without falling asleep. Thanks for sharing work. I appreciate it. Um, believe it or not, people I know in real life use my videos as sleep aids. Hey, that's fine. Do what you want. <laughs> the video is there for you guys to watch or consume however you choose whether it's all in one go or whatever. So <laughs> don't feel bad. That is A-OK. -okay. Some playthroughs become unclear of the objective after a bit. Yep, they absolutely do because that's kind of just the nature of the bit of uh, uh, just kind of pulling something uh, out of nowhere in terms of ideas. So I, I probably should plan these a little bit more. But um, as you know, sometimes stuff just comes up and you don't always have the ability to uh, follow plans that you had before. This person says, I like your mellow style of gameplay and the fact that when you make a mistake, you don't try to cover it up with clever editing. Yep. Uh, I really do, would not enjoy someone being deceptive about what actually happened in the game if I'm watching them play a game. So I try not to do that for you guys either. I know this would be adding more work to your life and you do this for fun, but if you could do long compilations at the end of series that have highlights of the overall goal, it would be really nice to just have playing in the background so that could keep going. That would be a lot of extra time. I, I can't promise that we're going to do those. 
but uh, at some point I would like to get to the point where I could have highlight clips or something just to have like a summary of things that we've accomplished in a playthrough. But again, that's uh, it takes a whole lot of time to go through 30, 40, 50 hours worth of stuff for every playthrough and uh, pick out the good stuff. But appreciate all that feedback. So that is all of the uh, time I've got to uh, show you guys everything here. Uh, I really appreciate the responses. Lots and lots of good information, lots and lots of positive comments, constructive comments, and a bunch of stuff I didn't have the time or space to show here. Uh, again, I did read every single one. I have taken notes uh, on different things that we might want to look at in the future and things that people want to see improved or things that people want to see uh, continued the same as they are. So again, just huge thanks to you for uh, completing the survey. I really appreciate your feedback and I look forward to what we're going to accomplish moving into 2024. So have a fantastic rest of your day. Thanks so much for stopping in and I hope we'll see each other again soon. Bye-bye.